form a polynomial with the given zeros. All right, to do this problem, let's pay attention to what we have written here in green. It says, if c is a zero of a polynomial function, then x minus c is a factor of that polynomial. So what that means is, is that if I'm trying to form a polynomial function that has these four zeros, I can then say that the polynomial must be something like f of x is equal to x minus a negative three, so minus minus three, times x minus one, times x minus two, times x minus five, because that's what this says. It says x minus c is a factor of the polynomial whenever c is a zero of the polynomial. All right, good, so then I just have to kind of multiply and clean this up a little bit, right? Now, it's not gonna give me one precise answer. So negative negative three, by the way, is positive three. That's why I wrote x plus three, and then I'll have x minus one, x minus two, x minus five, okay. But again, what I was gonna say is that when we multiply all this out, it's gonna give us a polynomial that has these zeros and has this degree. It isn't the polynomial though. It's just one polynomial that has these attributes. Of course, you could have different coefficients you know, out in front of the polynomial that would change the polynomial. So we kind of have a family of polynomials that have these attributes that we're doing here, but essentially we will find a suitable polynomial that has the following zeros and the specific degree of degree four. All right, so the rest of this is just basically multiplying this out, which is a little bit tedious, but we can do that certainly. So x times x will give us x squared, right? And then x times negative one will give us negative one x, right? And then we have three times x, which is positive three x, and then three times negative one, which is negative three, right? Then we can combine like terms there, so we'll end up with x squared. Uh, minus x and plus 3x is going to just give you plus 2x, right? And then minus 3. So the first trinomial is there. Let's get the second uh, trinomial by doing x times x here, which is going to end up giving us x squared. And then x times negative 5 is negative 5x. And then negative 2 times x is negative 2x. And then finally, negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10. All right, again, we'll combine like terms now. There's a second trinomial here to be x squared minus 7x plus 10. All right, and then finally we just need to do the very tedious step of multiplying a trinomial times a trinomial, which is gonna produce nine terms. Let's start by multiplying this x squared by everything in here. So x squared times x squared, of course, gives you x to the fourth. And then x squared times negative 7x gives you negative 7x cubed. And then x squared times 10 is gonna give you positive 10x squared. All right, that's three of the terms that we needed. We'll have, remember, six more to go then. Okay, so we'll have a 2x times x squared here, which is gonna end up giving you a positive 2x cubed, so plus 2x cubed. And then 2x times a negative 7x will give you a negative 14x squared. Then 2x times 10 is, of course, gonna give you plus 20x. All right, just three more terms to go. We'll have minus three times x squared to give us minus three x squared. Then minus three times a negative seven x is gonna give you a positive 21 x. And then finally a negative three times 10 is negative 30. All right, then draw a line and connect your values or add your values together, like terms in other words, right? So we'll have x to the fourth. Then we have minus seven x cubed plus two x cubed is gonna give you negative five x cubed. Then here we have basically negative four x squared and then negative three x squared give you negative seven x squared. And then finally we have plus 41 x minus 30. Okay, so it's quite a long polynomial, but there it is. That is our polynomial function that does indeed have degree four and it does have those zeros that we expressed above. So basically it meets the requirement. It's not the only function that meets that requirement, but it's one function that certainly meets that requirement, right? Obviously I could multiply the entire function by any constant I wanted to and it'd still get the same zeros and it would still be degree four, but basically this is one function that will work to solve the problem. All right, let's take a look at part B then. All right, so example B is very much like example A, except for that they tell us that the zeros have certain multiplicities. The multiplicity just means how often the zero is repeated. So that just means you would write it down twice if it has multiplicity two, write it down once if it has multiplicity one. So in other words, the function, let's call it g of x for example, would be basically x minus negative one, right? 
times x minus negative 1. I write that down twice because I have a negative 1 with multiplicity 2. And then it says that I'll have a factor or 0 x minus 5 with multiplicity 1. So I just write that down once. And then it says the overall function should have degree 3. And that seems like that'll be what we end up getting. So let's go ahead and take this a little bit further. Negative negative 1 will make plus 1. So we'll have x plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 5. And then from there, you just go ahead and FOIL out. So x times x gives you x squared. And x times 1 gives you 1x. Then we'll have 1x again for the second product here. So plus x and then 1 times 1 plus 1. Then from there, that'll be multiplied by x minus 5. So we'll end up having here x squared plus 2x plus 1 times x minus 5. So let's do this. So x squared times x will give you x cubed. Then x squared times negative 5 will give you negative 5x squared. Then we'll have 2x times x, which gives you positive 2x squared. Then we'll have 2x times negative 5, which gives you negative 10x. And lastly, 1x and negative 5. Okay, let's combine like terms. So we'll end up with x cubed, then negative 3x squared, then negative 9x minus 5. All right, so then we have a polynomial function that does have the desired zeros with the appropriate multiplicities, and it has degree 3. And that's it.